Hi guys, Darth Deuces with another Star Wars action figure review. Today we'll continue with the figures from the Sith Legacy Evolutions pack. I did Darth Maul a few days ago. Um, now we will continue with the next figure in the three pack, which is Darth Bane. Um, this is definitely a sought after figure from this pack. Um, Darth Bane was only released in this Sith Legacy um, Evolutions pack. He was never released singly carded or repacked anywhere else. He only got the releases in the two times the Evolutions pack was released, which was 2008, or sorry, 2007, 2008, I believe. Um, once with the 30th Anniversary Collection and the next time with the blue and white um, Legacy Collection. So that being said, this is a sought after figure. It is a much rarer figure than that of the Darth Maul figure. Uh, this guy will easily set you back around forty to fifty dollars on eBay. That's where around where he's going for. If you're lucky, maybe you get him around thirty-five. But he's definitely more expensive. But he's definitely a very good figure and definitely sought after. Darth Bane's a very popular character. Um, it's quite cool. He is actually still canon. Just this look and pretty much everything about him isn't canon, but. You know, at least we have him in the canon. Um, but this is him in his Orbalisk armor, as you can see. Um, this guy's really popular because of the Darth Bane trilogy of books, which I have not read, unfortunately. Hopefully, at some point, I will read them. But if you read those books, then you're definitely familiar with this character. Anyways, so let's get into it, the sculpt and the detail of this guy. He is pretty well done, I have to say. Um... Here he is with his Orbalisk armor on. As you can see, the Orbalisk armor is sculpted in like a translucent yellowish plastic with like this green tinted hue to it, which is really cool. It makes it look really nice. Um, all the Orbalisk armor pieces are removable, which I will show later. Here he is just with everything on him, which I think he looks pretty dope. I think he looks pretty cool with all his armor on and all that. Getting a closer look at the head sculpt there. Pretty nice. With the mask on, you can see the eye slits, the nose guard, and the mouth slit for in the mask. And it looks really cool. Got the pointed spike there. Let's give you a look at him. I will I will take off the Orbless scammers and get a better look at all the detail. All the other detail. So the arm guards can just clip right off. The mask just comes right off like that and then the chest plate actually does come off it's just tabbed in there by two tabs on the side of his torso so this might be a little difficult for me because I don't have fingernails but yeah see there we go just tabs out and you can take the chest plate off as you can see on the torso there are two grooves in there which is somewhat noticeable but it is cool you can still remove it I think that's really nice they could just sculpt to that but instead they did make it removable which I think is pretty cool and you have Darth Bane without all of his armor on, and he still looks really cool without it too. So you definitely have the option to display him with the armor or without the armor, which I really like that they made that feature. Now we'll take a closer look at the head sculpt again without the mask on. It's pretty cool, it's pretty faithful to how he looks. He's bald there, quite a muscular looking guy. He has this nice pale um, skin tone with a wash to it to bring out some detail, which looks really nice. I really like the uh, little black tattoos around his eyes and the Sith red and yellow eyes are painted really well. He's got this big plastic cape which is really cool. He got like this bronze medallion there, some nice sculpted detail. The big um, collar there which looks really cool. And the cape has some really nice sculpting. It flows really nicely. It looks really cool. And it is removable. If you, I'm not going to do it, but if you pop off the head you can just remove it really easily. So that's really cool. And the rest, he's just painted in a very dark purple, which is cool. It's different than normal black you get with Sith figures. The sleeves are nice. They're kind of ripped at the sleeves there, which is really cool. He's got some glossy black gloves. One hand sculpted to hold his lightsaber. The other one's in like a force gesture pose, which is really cool. So you can do a lot with that. Got this purple sash here with the gold or bronze uh, buckler. It's really cool. Some soft goods, lower tuning, which the soft goods work really well with this figure. It looks nice and it allows for more articulation. And you just got some simply paint or sculpted pants and some black glossy boots, which are nicely sculpted and painted. And overall, sculpt and paint wise, this guy is really good. I really don't have any problems with the sculpt and the paint. There's really not really any problems with this guy. 
Um, in terms of articulation, he's pretty good. He's got all articulation you'd like. He has a ball joint in the head, a ball hinge in the shoulders, a ball hinge in the elbow, which doesn't bend as much as I'd like to, but what can you do? A rotation at the glove, swivel at the waist, swivel at the hips, ball hinge knees, and ball hinge ankle. So you get this guy in some decent poses, so, so that's really nice. In terms of accessories, of course, you have the four pieces of Orbalisk armor, you have the removable cape, and you also have his lightsaber. So, fun fact, the purple lightsaber, if you didn't know, actually isn't canon. Um, Darth Bane never actually uses a purple lightsaber in any of the, you know, media comics or canon comics or books or whatever. He actually uses a curved red blade lightsaber similar to Count Dooku. Um, so he never uses the purple lightsaber, but for whatever reason, some illustrations of him have him using purple lightsaber, and I like that Hasbro went with the purple lightsaber. Um, you don't usually get too many figures or characters with a purple lightsaber, especially not Sith. So it's really nice to spice up your collection a bit with a Sith that has a purple lightsaber. And the sculpt the hilt's nice. I've never seen this sculpt with a, any other hilt before, so I don't know if it's unique to Bane or what, but it is pretty cool. Just painted in this silver um, paint. And you got a nice purple blade there. It looks really nice. So overall, Darth Bane is a pretty good figure. Um, there's only some minor issues. You know, my the, my only real issue actually is just with the um, Orbalisk armor, the arm little pieces here. They're supposed to clip where the elbow joint is. Well, then you, you clip them on. They kind of fit just kind of awkwardly. They don't look right, and you can't really bend the elbow when you have them clipped on. So I wish they would have done that a little better somehow. Or maybe just had them sculpted instead of having them removable. But aside from that, this figure is really nice. Comes with a bunch of great accessories. Um, definitely a bunch of display options, great sculpting, great paint, and just a very quality figure. If you're a Sith collector, this is a must-have. Um, and definitely you can find it for a good price. Definitely pick it up. Um, he is a bit harder to get, but he's definitely worth it. I highly recommend him if you're a big Sith collector like myself. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll wrap it up here soon with the review of Darth Nihilus. Anyways, thanks for watching and may the force be with you.